Hi, my name's Emma and I'm going to talk today about my favourite painting, Lorenzo and Isabella. It was painted in 1849 by John Everett Millet, who was part of a group of young artists known as the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood. And this painting was his very first painting in the style of the Pre-Raphaelites. The story is taken from a writer called John Keats, who wrote the poem Isabella and the Pot of Basil. And he took the story, the idea of the story, from an earlier writer called Boccaccio, who wrote the Decameron. And this was one of the tales told in the Decameron. It's a story of love, hate and murder. Not necessarily the first thing you think of when you see a family sitting around a dinner table. But it's the signs, symbols and gestures that hint to the story. So the story is based in Florence and Isabella is the daughter of a wealthy Florentine family and she's fallen in love but she's fallen in love with a clerk in the family's office his name's Lorenzo so he's more or less a servant and he's not worthy really of Isabella's love her brothers find out about the fact that these two are romantically involved and they lure Lorenzo away to the forest and murder him. Isabella is pining away for the loss of her loved Lorenzo. She doesn't actually know what happened to him. So when she goes to bed, she dreams of her lost love. And he comes to her and he leads her to the place where they've buried her body, his body. So the next morning she goes off into the forest, into the woods, and finds the spot where he's been buried. And she digs him up with her bare hands and finds the body of Lorenzo. She can't bring him back to the house because he's far too big for her to carry. So what she does, she cuts off his head. She brings it back home, plants it in a large pot and plants basil because it's sweet smelling and waters it every night with her tears. How romantic. Her brothers are very suspicious and very greedy. So they think she's hiding money inside this pot. So one night when she's asleep, they pull the pot away from her and search inside, thinking that they're going to find money. And instead they find the gruesome head of Lorenzo. And with fear, and maybe a little bit of remorse, they flee the country forever, but take with them the head, and poor Isabella dies of a broken heart. Very sad love story. So, <laughs> looking at the picture itself, you can see a family sitting around a dinner table. We've got Isabella, who is being offered a piece of fruit by her lover Lorenzo. Opposite, on the other side of the table, is her brothers. And you can see one brother is angrily leaning over the table. He's kicking at the dog in a violent gesture. He's really angry. You can see his face is contorted um, with rage. He's holding a nutcracker in his hand and angrily cracking the nuts. And if you look closely, you can see the head of the nutcracker is in the shape of a human face. The shells are falling onto the table. You can see that there's a plates on each of the plates are scenes of violence and prophecy. Just beneath the brother's elbow, there's a plate and it has Prometheus having his entrails pecked out by an eagle. In front of Isabella, there is a plate that has David and Goliath or David beheading Goliath. And then... A little bit further along the table, there is a, an image of the fates weaving the web of fate. Look at the shadow cast onto the table. It's placed directly across the spilt salt. And it's the shadow of the nutcracker and the brother's forearm. Linking him directly with the murder of Lorenzo. Everyone around the table are acting rather shifty. 
they know something's going on. They know that something's happening. If you look along the window and you just see above the red, um, above Isabella's shoulder, you can see a pot of basil. And that's inevitably where Lorenzo's head will end up at the end of the story. So, take a look at the people themselves. Now, Millet was a very accomplished artist and he used his friends and family as models for this piece. So we've got Isabella was his um, half-sister-in-law and William Michael Rossetti, Dante Gabriel Rossetti and George Frederick Stevens. Three of the other pre-Raphaelites are in the painting. Um, the older gentleman in the middle of the table is um, John William Millet, which is Millet's father. Millet was just 19 years old when he painted um, Lorenzo and Isabella and he sold the painting for £150 and a new suit. <laughs>